Yo, what's up? This is Rolling with FD and I'm FD. G and I are here on the Friday of the National. We're about to go in and have a great day today. You can see the convention center behind us. One thing I'll tell you is that we're going to see Mr. Joe Green from the Pittsburgh Steelers and get his autograph. And we're going to do something extra special today. FD is actually going to sell some stuff. So I have two Carmelo Anthony rookie cards that I'm going to let go of today. And I have some 1993 Topps basketball packs, Series 1 and Series 2. We're going to see what we get from them. But we're going to do much more than that. We're going to build relationships, look for product. Let's go. Here we go. Just been excited about getting to the convention center. This is our first day. Uh, and as I walk in, I just pan the crowd to see what is the order. They have us going through like a queuing line. Once we get through the queuing line, well, hey, we're into the show right now. You see us walk in, there are people walking around everywhere. We gotta navigate ourselves. The first thing is up is the Joe Green autograph. But before we get to that, you're walking past a lot of vintage cars, left and right. Uh, stuff from the past in the world of sports, some memorabilia, things of that nature. We keep walking over to the pavilion to get to the autograph area. We have some kind of line here to buy an autograph. So probably one of the, as far as head count, biggest nationals I've seen so far. I'm just walking there from the parking lot. Size, it's a little bit bigger. But there are people everywhere and this thing just got started. Typically not like that. The buzz is in the air, people. So after surveying the area, I step into line to buy the inscription tickets for uh, Joe Green. TriStar has this thing very organized. I've wanted to meet Mr. Joe Green for years. Four time Super Bowl champ, two time defensive player of the year, part of the Steel Curtain defensive line. I mean, this man changed the game at the defensive tackle position. I know I'm a, a former lineman, but everything that we see today as far as football changed when Joe Green got on the field. Good, good, mean Joe. Mr. Green, what a defensive tackle should be. So I got four inscriptions. Okay, tell me which ones you need. So, 100th anniversary team. NFL top 100. Four time Super Bowl champ. Okay. It's Hall of Fame year. Okay. And I wanted to know if he put down, I'm not me. No. Are you crazy? What's up? You heard me. <laughs> so we got Hall of Fame, and then let's do 75, 100, four times. 75th anniversary, 100th anniversary. 75th and 100? Yeah. Okay. All right. So you know what? You know what? Let's say Mr. Green picked the four. All right, um, so we would put them over here. Yeah, that's, that's cool. I would put the uh, 4X there. 4X, four times two both champ. Then you got uh, the 100th anniversary team. Third one is, you want 75th? What you, what you think? I'd probably go to 2X DPOY. Yeah. Defensive player of the year. The 75 has kind of been eclipsed by the 100. You know? I got you. I got you. Sir, can I get a picture with you? Yeah, right there. Yeah. I really enjoy meeting a play on the caliber of Joe Green. I respect him tremendously, what he did on the field, off the field. At a national, I appreciate the history that is at the show. This is like a museum. As you're walking around, you see pennants, you see things from the past as far as sports. You see cars that are upper echelon cars. You gotta step back and take it in and appreciate where you're at. Look at these old pennants, man. Nice. Old White Sox. Very nice. Oh, look at that. Mike Jordan 1010. Do everything here is banana. Look at this Brady. Mahomes. You can paint all this, bro. Everything here is. <laughs> I like this. Vegas. I like that. Look at these curries, man. With it being a larger show, after getting the autographs and talking to Mike, I wanted to go over to the area that I've never been in before, which is kind of the extension of the show. And I'm also looking, as we talked about earlier, on selling some cars, so I'm trying to find a buyer. Let's see what happens here. Hey, yo. What's up, brother? All right. How much is the Tatis ticket? I've got 700 on it. It's a nice price. Well, it is. I'd go 60. I'm moving uh, what I have. It's my last cash. Really? Life was full. I was a principal on the south side of Chicago. Principal work? 
down to Sullivan. Oh, okay. Then I went back home on the original down to New York. Okay. Class of 69. All right. So how did I end up on the south side of Chicago? Well, you know, we serve a purpose. I sold three of these yesterday and four of the slap. I just stopped submitting because I'm, I'm just starting to let go. Okay. Simplify, right? I understand. It's something beyond all of it. I understand. As much as I value. Yeah. I'll put it for the thing. Yeah. How long have you been collecting? What made you get into collecting? In 1962, I was 11 years old in Cooperstown, class of 69. Yeah. Jackie Robinson was inducted in the Hall of Fame. In the lobby of the actual hall, uh -huh. Mr. Robinson, may I have your order? I decided Jack Robinson. I had yeah. a frame of 1950, class of follow through, in color, mm -hmm. uh, above it. Yeah. That's what I did with a lot of my signatures. Okay. They took three rising seniors and made us custodians in the Hall of Fame that summer. Yeah. I always had my autograph in my back pocket. Okay. That's fast forward six years. But you asked the question when did it start? Yeah. Talked about a moment that's indelible. Yeah, I understand. Um, that was it. Pleasure meeting you. The National is a place where you'll see cars that you don't usually see. You gotta love it. Look at this car, bro. You got Hank Aaron on there, Trout, Clay Shaw, Jeter, Cal Ripken, Buster Posey, Ernie Banks. There's some heat in here, bro. Yeah, right? Look at this book, man. Woo! Look at this. Woo! You don't see a lot of these. See the Stan Lee piece? This is nice. You see the Harry S. Truman? He has such a clean signature, man. Look at Jesse Owens. So as I'm browsing around, we're trying to sell these cars. So I'm looking at tables to see who sells 90s basketball. And then I roll up to a big sign that says, we are buying. So let's see what's up. What's up, bro? Y'all buying cars, man? Can I put my bag here? I got some unopened boxes of small tops. Series one and two, not open, never been tampered with, bro. How'd you get them? Oh, I bought them the year they came out. Is that bolted for that? that yeah, yeah, they've been in the room. We started cleaning the room out. We lost it, 62, 78. Oh my god, I remember opening in this kid. See? See what I'm talking about? I was looking for Sean Bradley and Chris Weber. Yeah, bro. What about these two Camellos? 120, 120, 150. And that one. Yeah, that one's doing like 145. What about 300 for both of them? Uh, I'd pass. You watching press, baby. Oh, I mean, that's cool stuff, though. Stuff that's good stuff. I like your style, man. Thank I you, bro. I just can't pay over, and then I don't really have any room. What, what, what number works for I mean, you? We normally buy about like 65, 75 percent of. Oh, is that 160? Yeah, well, yeah, it's more. I'm down with that. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, bro. All right, deal. You good? Yeah. My man. All right, cool. Are you guys on Instagram or anything? Yeah, rolling with FD. Also got a vlog show. All right, cool. What does FD stand for? Uh, my initials. Oh, okay. I thought it was fucking deals. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna take that. Rolling with fucking deals. Rolling with fucking deals. <laughs> yeah, bro. I love you, man. Right, man. You have a good one, brother. Hey, I'm good with that. And y'all know from watching the Burbank show, I just been liquidating on Carmelo. Man, we're going to find somebody to take these boxes, bro. G just brought up a good point. Those boxes I bought for almost nothing in 1993 when I was 18 years old. So whatever I get for them in here, I'm already winning. We got to find somebody that's selling like that era of stuff. Let's look for some uh, like basketball tables. You see this Carrie Fisherman? Look at that Carrie Fisherman. Look at this uh, Hank Aaron card. How do you comp something like that? Uh, you don't really comp that card, honestly. I That's mean, what I'm saying. How do you get a price on it? It's kind of a name your own price type of thing. I feel like eventually somebody's going to at least come close to that. I mean, he's not signing anymore, and it's an no. old on card auto before his auto kind of got. Yeah, well, shaky. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Can I see that card? I just want to check it out. Absolutely. A lot of the comps on Aaron 101s are all those. Archives autos that there's, mm -hmm. it's a one on one, but there's like 75 different one on ones. Mm -hmm. Look at that, bro. One of the best cars I've seen. Thank you for that, brother. Thank you. Amazing. Yep. So that Jordan Gatorade tie? No, that's cool. Anything Mike Jordan, I mean, I, that's just, look at this. I remember when that poster was out. Look at that Nolan Ryan jersey. How much is that jersey? That jersey is $5,000. That's a nice jersey, man. Yeah. 300 wins, right? It's got the 300 wins, yeah. all with 300 win inscription with the date and number on it. Very nice. And I got them done myself. I actually was the promoter of the show that started there. I see you got Tom Seaver on there. Yeah. I've got everybody that was a, that you could have got. So you got Spawn, Ryan, Clemens, Glavin. Early win. win. I had a show out in Vegas 
I had all the 300 win guys with the exception of Ryan at the time. He didn't want to show up, so we did him. We, I threw a guy out and it was home. So you got Sutton. Phil Negro. Negro. Gaylord Perry. Tom so I'm so. saving. That's the date. He would always put his date down, which I think is a cool move. Yeah. What makes you want to sell this, man? You know, it's hard to be a dealer. And I understand. A, and a That's a fine line, brother. All right, be good. Thank All you, right. brother. You got it. I still have these 1993 Topps basketball boxes to sell. I see Mealy Pops trying to put my sales hat on to see if I can get a win. You buying anything? Yeah, I can. The other end of the thank you. Hey, I wanted to see if you were interested in any old 93 Topps box. Like $55, $60 a box. I've got one of each. Never been open. Been sitting there since 93. 93's a weird year. What are the, is this the golds? Yeah, you got the golds in here. That's that's really the only heat that's in this box. And then you got Weber. All that is in here. Second year Shaq. So on these guys, I'll probably pass on the other. Okay. Be a wax. Now that's it, bro. Somebody will buy that. So all of this area is shops. Okay. Hey, it's a pleasure to meet you. Can I get a picture with you? Yeah. So shout out to FE and these guys coming through. It's fun seeing people hustle in the carts, you know, and uh, Go, for, go uh, make sure you're watching this vlog, right? Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah rolling with FD. Let's go. I like it. All right, brother. I mean, you have a good one, man. Yeah, buddy. So I take Jamil's advice. I turn the corner, go down to a couple of the next booths, and, and talk about the 1993 Topps cars. I think I got a sale here. Let's see. You never know until you try, right? On Rolling with FD, we respect everyone we come in contact with. The gentleman here didn't want to be recorded, but he did take the boxes, and we got the sale for just over $70. So I found in storage two 1993 Topps basketball boxes, and these are the ones for the top goal. And this was Chris Weber's rookie year, some other players. Uh, Anthony Hardaway, other players, but I brought him to the show to see what I could get for him. I just got $75 from a dealer here at the show, and I don't sell a lot. Everybody that watches the show knows I don't sell, but I thought I'd rather use the dollar than have those boxes, and it's a win. So you all have seen what we got to sell and we cashed out, and I'm walking around and I immediately think, let's reinvest these funds into something, and I stumble on a Kareem card. Greg, these are nice. Very nice. How much is this Kareem card? Actually, it's not that much. It's about 45 bucks. Can I see it? It's got a little rubber band mark across the middle. Oh, I see it. Still a nice card, bro. Yeah. I think I gotta get that. You gotta get that. I gotta get that, bro. You know what? This whole side of the show has a whole different vibe. It's more space. You can breathe. It's cooler. I like this area. We always re up to this same group every time. We just like this part of the show. It's not so congested. I appreciate your champion sports card. Yes, All right, brother. We'll check you out, bro. We head over to the room with the brick, the brick, the bricks. This is the future of the hobby. This entire room is dedicated to breaking cases and boxes of cards and using tech to get a sale. Got a break going now. This is a growing segment of the hobby that needs to be respected because it allows people from all over the country to communicate about cars in an electronic manner. For our viewers out there, if you go back to the Westminster episode, after that show, we went to Jazz Space Sports Club. We met with Mike Kihoni, we talked to Hobby, and we talked about a future interview. Now I'm gonna meet back up with Mike to set up the interview. How you doing? Good, how are you? My name is uh, FD. I live in LA and I stopped by the shop and I talked to Mike. Oh yeah. And uh, I had asked him if I could interview him. And he told me to stop by and check in with him while we were here. You he just walked away. We'll just kick back. Okay. Wait on him. How you doing, sir? How are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Yes, sir. How's your day going? Good. We want to know if we could come back tomorrow and sit down and talk to you and interview you. We can be here as soon as the show opens. We can come right here. You cool with that? I'll be here. Sir, I appreciate you. You got it. Thank you. All right. Yep. We're at the end of day one. Our energy is still high. There's still a buzz in the room. There are people all over the convention center. The crowd has grown since we first arrived early in the morning. There are people taking breaks and then coming back. This place is the place to be. Can't wait for day two. So, for us, Friday's in a book. Met Joe Green. Mr. Joe Green. Sold some stuff that I don't usually do. But why not? Why don't I try something new? Don't put yourself in a box. Walk the show, met some people, set up some conversations for tomorrow. We'll meet more people, have fun in the process, saw some stuff that we've never seen before from a card and autograph perspective. More to come tomorrow, Saturday.